Well, hello, welcome back to the channel with your host and driver, DDD Jaden. And this time we're gonna TV recap the two and uh, cup races of last Wednesday. Yes, good. Um, yeah, but first of all, a uh, short introduction to the cup races. Cup races are two races of 20 minutes. And as simple as that, there is no tire wear, there is no fuel rate, nothing going on. Just two races of 20 minutes. The first race, uh, we have a qualifier in front of it. Determines the starting order for race number one, of course. And the results of race number one are going to be is going to be the starting order for race number two. So that's it. And before we're going to start, because we have race number one and race number two already, and this is going to be race number three and race number four, we're going to run you through the championship standings. We'll have to quickly put that up. Yes. Let me do that for you. <laughs> Oh man, badly prepared. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. There we have it. I believe we have it, but we have to see if we have the right one. How's it going to see the championship standings before? Oh, nope. That's not the correct one. Here we are. Is this the right one or is this the right one? Good question. <laughs> I believe it's going to be this one. Let me quickly. Yes, we have the right one. So we're going to run you through that order. It's going to be this one. No, it's going to be this one over here. And now we can see what? Why do I have two times the same one? No. Yes, here it is. As we can see right now, we have Arno in the lead after the first two races with two wins in race number one and race number two. So he is on 30 points. As you can see, Monik is in second. We a fourth and a third place, as far as I believe, and I can see, and he has 25 points right now. Then we have Kevin C with 13 points and 11 points in third, with 24 points in total. Then we have Hugo. Uh, I believe Honor was the runner-up. Yeah, Henrik147 was the the. Uh, of is the reigning world champion, reigning world champion, yeah, sure. Or the reigning champion of season number two, because we're in season number three already. So yeah, we have Hugo in fourth place right now with 22 points, as we can see. Then we have Rickman 47, or GGGGA, as he is described over here, with 12 and 9 points. Weren't his best results. It was, of course, on Dragon Trail Seaside with the chicane of death. Yes. And then we have Quinn in 6th place with 14 and 6 points. That gives him a total of 20. Then we have Tamil in 7th with 5 and 12 points, as we can see over here. And that gives him a total of 17 points. Then we have Yopodex in 8th with 10 and... Why? Come on. Work with me! With 10 and 6 points. That gives him a total of 16, of course. Then, as you can see, Shouty, the champion of uh, Group B, <clears throat> the reigning champion of Group B in number 9 uh, with a total of 14 points and then we have DDD Jay Dent me, myself and I as I'm described over here I'm Jane Dent okay okay <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah okay good and let's get back to this one here we are so he has a total of 12 points then we have d divisa with a four and seven and 11 with 11 points and concrete tile with seven and four points with 11 in total as well in 12th and then we have crisis with three and zero in 12 of in 13th which gives him a total of three okay good now, if we shut this one down, we're only left with the last one. Wow, now you can see this championship standings already. That wasn't like, and that wasn't intended. Yeah, done. Hide it. Good. <clears throat> it's been hidden. I think I, 
I have a solution for that to make sure you don't see that. But okay. Now we know the championship standings and who to look for. We have uh, Ono, Monik, and who else that we have? Yeah, we have Ono, Monik, Kevin C, Rick147, and Tamil fighting for the championship. And yeah, probably going to start pretty far up. We'll have to see that. Let me see if everything works over here. Yes, it does. Okay, good. So we can run you through the order and we can show you who's on pole position and who's done it again. He's done it. But first of all, before we're ready, a little bit of energy. Sure. Why not? You're not hyper enough. No, 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 no. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> oh, I make the whole shit shake. <laughs> Good. Now we're going to run you through the qualifying order. <clears throat> we can put the volume already up for... Uh, oh, what else is on? What is it? Okay, that's off. Good. Nothing is running over here. <clears throat> Good. Now we can show you the qualifying order. Wait, Kevin C. Yes, he's back again. Yet again with another pole position. Yes, that's pole position. You've done it. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So he starts number one. And then we have Arno in second. Then we have Jopodex in third. Really nice qualifying of him. Sublime. Nicely done. And then we have Rickbomb47. Our reigning champion in fourth. Then we have Marnik in fifth. So as you can see, the top four of the championship starting in the top five in this race. Uh, only Yopodex is the one a little bit further down the order in the championship standings. Then we have Kuristus in number six. Then we have Tamil in seventh. And then we have DDD Jaden in eighth. Wasn't the best qualifying, but yeah. Who gives a shite? <laughs> then we have Debris and little short explanation as well we have uh, a group a1 and a2 at this time they're put together so we only have an a1 right now and we have a b1 b2 and a b3 so we actually have five groups but a1 and a2 are one right now so we only have four and as far as i believe b1 and b2 are one as well so we only have three right now so we have a and b1 and b2 <clears throat> bit difficult to explain but never mind this is just group a and right now it's going to be combined so the championship standing suddenly you're going to see way more names in that and guys with a lot of more points than from group a or from group a2 suddenly moving into a1 but whatever then we have harmsma in 10th then we have piccolini in 11th and d the Fizzard in 12th only 12 guys starting this one a little bit few guys showing up but yeah as far as i know i'm ready i'm ready to roll and if you are ready i am ready but i'm not ready you know that always a little bit of a zip mm -hmm. Another seat. Now we can move up here. And we're gonna start it soon. We need the headset, of course. And if you're ready, I'm ready. Okay, let's go. Here we're gonna go with cup race number three of season number three. Kevin C on pole position, Arno in second, Jopodex in third, Brickman 47 in fourth, and Marnik in fifth. And here we're gonna go in. Three, two, one, go! 
Yeah, so we can see everybody's good at the line. That's easy with this car. There is nearly no spin, no traction. Everybody's going to run into the first corner. Gavin is going to run uh, to the first corner first. Monik tries it on the outside. And who's going to go to the inside over there? And that's Monik. Uh, Chris is on the outside over there. Nobody's going to crash. No real damage. Nothing special so far. But I believe there are some changes. As I can see, Rick 47 is already in fourth place. He's going to go three wide towards Orush. And Kevin C is still in the lead. And uh, they're going to come into Orush. It's single file right now. Is somebody going to run right? Is going to be any penalties over here no it's not onto the camel straight here we're gonna go and they're side by side three wide in the background and it is Jadent versus the mill versus Monik whoa oh, oh, that was tight and Jadent uh, slots in front of both of them here they're gonna go into Lacombe chicane oh no still in second place Jobadex tries it on the inside outside tries to fake it all over the place here comes Carissa's already in fourth past Rick 47 for fourth place Ho, 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 a lot of shit going on. We still have to see that. And here we have Tamil and Jaden fighting over sixth place. Tamil in front of Jaden. Here comes Curtis. This goes a little bit deep over there into Brussels. And if I can see right now, everybody makes it through. And here comes Marnik into second place. And overtakes Jopadex for third place. What? For second place. What the hell? Nice move. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> but first of all, INSTANT REPLAY! Let's see that start again, because a lot of things happened. Let's go all the way back, 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 any back, 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 any back. <laughs> Let's see it from Jopadex's start. Yeah, I think this is a good one. If Rick 47 and Monik and Chris is really close behind, and they're all going to fight for uh, second place, and Arno and Kevin C up front. Here we're going to go in. Three, two, one. Beep. Oh, bit of a shocky start. That's a little bit of lag. As we can see, Mar for Arnold trying on the outside over there uh, of Kevin C. And here we can see everybody slots in just behind. No real contact, no real shit going on. Rickman 47 slots in behind there. Chris has had a better exit compared to Monik, and that's why Chris is and Chris is pushing Rickman 47 left a little bit left over there. Let's keep it this way because we can see those two are gone and they're slotting behind each other over here. And here we can see that Rick17 has a bit of a shitty exit out of the out of the Rouge. And there we have that fight between Monik, Jaden, and Tamil on the camel straight. A little bit of pushing going on over there. Let's see who breaks the latest. Do they all break at the same point? Yes, they do. And Tamil overtakes Jaded on the inside over there. And as we can see, because of the slipstream, Jopadex is right uh, on the tail of Arno. And Arno tries the wider line over there. And there we can see Coristus. That was the move, I believe, already. Oh no, Coristus was already in front of uh, Rick 47. Sorry about that. But as you can see behind there, they're all trying to slot in behind each other. Oh, Coristus has a huge slide over there. That's going to give Rick 47 the opportunity to pass him. And here comes Jopadex on the inside of Arno. That's it, yeah. Kevin C puts up a defensive line and that's gonna give Jopadex the opportunity to pass him on the inside or at least put him next to it. And that's how Arno got back. And I mistake, I mistake Arno because Arno and Monik driving the same livery. Mistaked Arno for Monik. Talk about that. Oh, does he have a nice, <laughs> yes, he has that nice sticker on his rear yet again. Especially to Monik. Mm. Eh. <laughs> Kiss it. <laughs> but as we can see, uh, Curtis is in number four. Then we have behind it Rickbomb 47. Let's get a board, by the way. And then we have Tamil. A little bit of a gap to Rickbomb 47. And then we have Jaden just behind that. And then behind that, we have Monik. Monik had an absolute shitty start. Let's see what happened to him. Instant replay! <laughs> Typical terrible start for for me. <laughs> Monik already reacted. As I said, he had a shitty start. Back, 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 and back, 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 and back. Ah, oh, let's see it off the line. In fifth right now, reasonable start. Well, as I said before, you're just gonna get off the line with this thing because there, there's too few horsepowers to spin up those medium tires right now. Anybody jumping? Anybody uh, jaded on the inside of the mill over there? And as we can see right now, you saw Jopadex defending pretty well. Could have just had a better exit compared to Rick 47 and Monik passing him over here. And there was 
slide for, for a short ball where there were three wide Chris's starts just in front of Rick with 47 and as you can see the dirty air drifts Monik wide and it's gonna lose him a lot of time over there here comes Jaden here comes Tamil on the outside three wide yet again and then we have Jaden in front of Tamil uh, Tamil is the slipstream right now Monik dives back into the slipstream as well and is Tamil gonna dive to the inside of Jaden yes he does Jaden doesn't put up a defensive line and here comes uh, Debris on the inside of Monik Monik leaves the space over there Tamil overtakes Jaden perfectly done nice move yeah, <laughs> boy. And Jaden tries to cut back, uh, tries to cut back over here, but this is how Jaden got all of uh, Monica got all the way back into eighth. Any other shenanigans going on? No, we cannot see that, but let's go a little bit further up front. As we saw, we have Kevin C in the lead, then we have Ono and Jopodex fighting for second place. <clears throat> Just behind that, we have Carissus and Rickmo 47. And as we can see, all in the slipstream of each other, Jaden just in front of Monica. That's the red and silver car in front of the blue car. <clears throat> oh, and Carissa's had a little bit of a shitty accident. Oh, Jopodex goes wide. What happened? Jopodex, what are you doing? He's going to lose a place, at least fourth, uh, third place to Rickman 47. And Rickman 47 past Carissa's as well. Holy shit, balls of fire. We have to see that again. Instant replay! What did you do, Jopodex? Why? Coming up towards Puhan. Here we have Carissa's just behind, Arno, of, uh, Arno just in front, and uh, Carissa's just behind. And as you can see, he runs a little bit wide over there. Oh, gets a little bit of a push from Carissa's over there. And that's why he ran wide. Luckily, it was not ran, because else ran, ran wide. Hey, ran. <laughs> and Rick 47 could pass both of them. We'll have to see that again in an instant replay. Instant replay! Let's go back. Let's see that. Here was that little push from Coristas and the Rick 47 runs in between both. One off the track and one on track. Beautifully done. And here we can see Tamil tries to immediately attack Jopodex on the outside into Pif Puff, as, you, as Monik calls it. But Jopodex stays in front and Coristas has half a second penalty. And then we have Jaden just in front of Monik still. Well, let's go a little bit further up front. Well, let's see. We have Kevin C still in the lead. Then we have Arno. Then we have Rick with 47 and Jopodex. And they're fighting all over that place. And who is that? That's Debris and Harmsma fighting. Oh, Harmsma and Piccolini fighting over 10th place. Yes, it is. Harmsma, Piccolini and the Fisser. And the Fisser runs right over there. No, what are you doing? That's going to cost you the bell. Oh, and he runs into the ball from Papa Damage and right front suspension damage. No! Uh, we know the Fisser doesn't like this car, but what the hell? And let's go a little bit further in front because I can see a fight over there between Tamil and Jaden and the Opadex. Here they're gonna come and Tamil passes Jopodex for fourth place and Jaden tries it on the inside as well and Tamil has a half second penalty as well. A little bit of a push of Jaden over there to Jopodex. Oh no! And here comes Marduk on the inside and look at that! Four wide, three wide onto the main street. Marduk back to fifth place and here comes Jaden together with Jopodex. Holy shit, balls of fire and everything is kicking off left, right, there, center. Instant replay! Why? Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll have to see that again. And back, 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 back. Of course, we saw that. Uh, oh, Chris has had that half-second penalty. That's why he dropped back uh, behind Jaden and Monik. We know that. We saw he got that penalty by crossing one of the lines into Puhon. And here we could see the fight at the rear between Hans Piccolini and the Fizzer running white. Right now, we're going to see that. Let's see that in 3, 2, 1. Here goes the Fizzer, and he's going to lose it in 3, 2, 1. Bye! <laughs> and as we can see, here comes the penalty for Carissa, so that's why everybody could pass him. And then uh, further up front, we can see Tamil and Jopodex next to each other into Blanchemont. Oh, and it's going to run Tamil a little bit wide over there. Oh, Jaden has a huge slide over, over as well. A big wiggy 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 wobble. And that's going to give Tamil that half second penalty, but Tamil still overtakes Jopodex into the best of shit game. Debris still on the Finca Tau. And now we have Jopodex running wide because of Jaden, because Jaden touched him. Uh, Monik leaves just enough space. Let's go all the way to Jopodex. And and Jaden lets Jopodex pass again. But as we can see right now, we have Kuristas. Everybody's fighting for what is that fifth place. And Kuristas tries it on the inside of Jaden. And Jaden leaves just enough space. Is he going to leave enough space on the outside? Yes, he does. Perfectly executed over there from Kuristas. Yes. <laughs> ah. Okay. Okay. Let's continue. Here they're going to go all in line. We have Monik in front of Jopodex right now. Then we have Chris and Jaden next to each other into Orush. And who's going to think better of it? Jaden thinks better of it. That's better. 
to do and then we have Debris right in the slipstream as well and any changes further up front I can't see any but here comes Jaden on Carissus again there we have Debris Debris is going to give him a bump draft on the Camel straight and that's why he can pass Carissus again thanks Debris nicely done <laughs> Oh, and here he's gonna come. Is he gonna run a little bit wide? He runs a little bit deep. Here comes Caristus on the outside, and he's gonna retake Jaden uh, for seventh position. Yes, he does. Debris just slots in behind. A little bit of a push over there, but Jaden tries to cut back over there and goes to the inside of Caristus yet again. What a fight! Oh my God, Jesus, guys! <clears throat> and Jaden slots just in front of Caristus over there for seventh place. Monica still a fifth, Jobnik still a sixth, just in front of them, but this is gonna lose him a lot of time. And here comes Caristus out of the no-name corner into Puhon. Oh, and who's gonna break the latest over here? Is that possible? Too white into Puhon. That's Derry, but Jaden slots in behind and tries to cut back yet again and do the old switch ruin. Caristus runs a little bit wide over there. Holy shit, balls of fire, and that's gonna give Piccolini and Debris the opportunity to pass him yet again. And Caristus all the way back in ninth right now. Oh, Oh, and there is a fight behind there between Debris and Caristus. And Caristus has a half second better because he ran wide in Puhon. And we have a fight for, for, for fifth place as well between Jopodex and Marnik. But here they are Piccolini, Debris, Hamsma, and Caristus is all the way back in 11th. What happened? Instant replay! Oh, yo, 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 yo. We'll have to go back, back. Baggity back, uh, back, 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 back. Oh, we'll have to see that whole fight again. It started all the way back uh, in, into the first quarter. Coming out of the chicane, <laughs> we'll take a look at this. Five cars within 10 meters of track. Here we're gonna go. And as you can see, that little push from Jaden and Jaden let Jobadex pass the camera. That's gonna give Martin the opportunity as well to pass him. And then we have Debris here. And Chris has had that half second penalty. That's why he's in ninth right now. And he's gonna break extremely late over here. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah, you can. Can you? Yes, you can. Okay. And as you can see, my offer, Chris is on the inside there. Overthinks Jaden for sixth place, but Jaden has the slipstream of Yopodex, and Yopodex is going to give uh, Chris the slipstream right now. Jaden going mad all over the place. <laughs> But he's gonna leave Carissus the space over here. And then we're gonna cut back to Jaden. And we can see he has the slipstream over here, had the better exit. And here comes Debris because of the double slipstream. He gives, gives Jaden a bump draft. So that's why he could pass Carissus yet again. And Debris is probably gonna pass him as well. No, he's not. Yes, on the straight he does. But Carissus breaks later compared to Debris into. Uh, the Lacombe chicanes and Carissus has the way better line because Jaden upbreaks uh, himself and he gives him a little bit of a push over there. Let's cut back. Oh, there is a huge big, big, big bubble over there from Carissus and that's why Jaden could do the cut back. And here we have Carissus tries to break later into Brussels on the outside, but that's a difficult one. And Jaden lets it run wide legally, I believe. And here we're going to go into the no name corner. And Curtis has a way better exit compared to Jaden. A little bit of a push yet again. But as we can see, Piccolini could pass Debris for ninth place. And Curtis is on the inside of Puhan, but is going to run a little bit wide over here. Is there any touch? No, there is not. He runs wide himself a little bit and runs a little bit too wide yet again. And is he going to spin on the Astro Turf? No, he does not. But by coming back onto the track, no, not into Peef Puff. Oh, it's Debris on the inside and he's going to push him wide. Oh, and that is that half second penalty we, th we saw, of course. But everything is still reasonably okay, and he hits the curb a little bit too hard. No! Oh, yeah, 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 and that puts him back all the way in 11th. And is it possible for the Visser to catch up with him? No, it's not, but he has that half second penalty, but he's gonna drop back even further. Let's go all the way up front yet again. Let's see, we have Kevin C. <clears throat> Sorry about that, but the camera's not. Oh, we have a fight for three, and there is Arno on the outside of Lanchim. Oh, oh, yeah, they're gonna come. Oh, there is a half second penalty for Arno. No. And there we have Rickon 47 and uh, Kevin C fighting for second place just behind Arno right now. What a move from Arno on Kevin C on the outside of Blanchemont and Rickon 47 passing Kevin C for second place as well. Here they're gonna come. Oh, side by side still on the main straight. Who had the better exit? I believe it's Kevin of uh, Rickon 47 compared to Kevin C, but Kevin C still on the inside in towards Lasso's hairpin. Man, who's gonna break the latest? It's Rickon 47 and Kevin C slots in behind. We'll have to see that again. Instant replay. <laughs> Let's see that again. Mine are good. Back, 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 and back, 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 and back. Oh, Rickman 47 already passed on. When did that happen? When did that happen? We'll have to see that again as well. Was it on the. Um, yes, it was on the Camel Straight. Here they are. 
And behind you can see that fight, but these three are gone. Kevin C, Ono, and Rick Bufuri's ever gone. And there comes Ono, tries it on the outside towards Laku the Lacoom Chicanes. And runs a little bit wide over there because, because probably he thought Ono was going to run wide. And Rick Bufuri's seven does one of his specialties in the third part of the Lacoom Chicanes. Oh, the halfway through. Oh, they both run wide, Kevin C and uh, Rick Bufuri's seven. But Ono could not profit of that. Leaves the space on. There is a half second penalty for Kevin C and Brickman 47. That's why Honor could come back. But let's continue this fight. Let's stay on board. We have that huge fight behind here as well, of course. But we've seen that. Tamil on his own, a little bit on his own right now. And then we have Marduk behind that, trying to catch up with these three guys. So does Tamil. Nobody runs wide over here. They pull a little bit of a gap over Honor. Brickman 47 and Kevin C do. And here they're gonna come, they're gonna break late. And Arno breaks a little bit late, it takes the best line as far as I believe. Rickman 47 tries to get out of the slipstream of Kevin C, but it's not possible. They're both gonna serve that half second penalty. And is Arno gonna profit of that maximally by gaining both? Yes, he does. Oh, a little bit of a wiggy 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 wobble over there. That's not good. Here they are, both with a penalty. Then we have Rick of Ono coming back, and he can pass Rickman 47, and he can pass Kevin C as well. Let's see from Rickman 47, his perspective is on the outside over there, and he runs a little bit wide over there and gets that half second penalty. So they're all <laughs> they're all losing the same amount of time, but Ono is going to serve that a little bit later. And Rickman 47 still in, for immediately on the outside of Kevin C. Kevin C leaves a space into the bust of Chicane. Here they are side by side, and he leaves enough space coming out of it. And let's continue this battle, but look a little bit further behind as well. And Marnik closing up, and Yopalex towards Tamil for fourth place. And here they are, the fight. The, the, we have a top three fight, and we have a fight for fourth place. Then we have Jaden in front of Piccolini, in front of Debris, in front of Harmsma, in front of Coristus, all the way at the back, uh, together with uh, Dita Fisser. But here we are, the slipstream battle for second place between Rickman 47 and Kevin C. And let's keep an eye on the, t on the timetable on the left side, and the minimap if, any if anything else happens. So far, nothing going on. Nothing on the hands. No. Okay. Okay. Here comes Kevin C onto the camel straight. Yeah, right in the slipstream. Is he gonna pull out? Rickman 47 doesn't put up a defensive line towards the Lakumchi games. Here we're gonna come again. Side by side. Who's gonna break the ladies? It's gonna be Kevin C. But Rickman 47 is still on the outside of Kevin C and he's still in second place. He's gonna run him wide over here. I know for sure. And Kevin C doesn't try on the inside over there. Let's see if there are any changes behind. No, there is not. Let's go a little bit further in front again. We can see Monik is way quicker compared to Tamil. And that is that fight. And Tamil ran a little bit wide over there. And Tamil is that half second penalty, I believe. No, he does not. Jopodex has a half second penalty. And there we have Debris and Piccolini fighting over eighth place. We saw that move over there. And Monica is still behind Kevin C. Of uh, Tamil. And Kevin C is still behind Rickman 47. <clears throat> Nobody runs wide over here, but Jopodex is going to lose a little bit of time because of the half second penalty. Anybody else spinning? Anybody else overtaking anybody? No. We cannot see anything going on yet. And Jopodex right on the tail of uh, Monica. And can he make that move into Peef Puff? And I know Marnik. Oh, Marnik runs a little bit wide over there. Oh, went a went into a little bit of went in a little bit hard over there. And I know it's called Fangio. <laughs> yes. Oh, a slide over there from Tamil, but didn't lose him a many uh, a lot of time. And there is the pass from Debris of Piccolini again. And here it comes the penalty for Marnik. And is it possible for Jada to pass him? Let's see, here comes Jaden. Let's get on board with him. Can he do that? Yes, no, yes, no. Here he comes into the slipstream. And there is a pass already for second place. Kevin C. Oh, there is a pass, of course. Oh, and uh, Jopodex runs a little bit wide over there. Let's see that again. Inan. Instant replay! <laughs> Let's get on board with. Jopodex, of course he had to slow down because of that half second penalty and we're going to see that half second penalty from he's on the inside, he leaves enough space over there, well just about, but uh, that's probably going to be a next penalty for Jopodex, but Jopodex could hold the momentum over there and it's still in front of Jaden and there's going to be no penalty for Jopodex, good, nice for him, and oh that was a huge wiggle 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 over there from Marnik, let's see that again as well, and then it's INSTANT REPLAY! Here comes Monik. 
towards Tamil. Tamil runs a little bit deep into the bust up she came. Monik tries it on the inside over there. And oh, he just he makes a weird move over there. I don't know why. Okay, but we'll have to see that penalty from Ono as well. We're still only on the fourth lap, so we only had three laps so far. Instant replay! Back, 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 Eddie, back. A back, a back, 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 Eddie, back. It's absolutely ridiculously costly, that half-second penalty. Take a look at this. I'm coming out of Stavolo right now. And Kevin C has the fastest lap by far with half a second right now. That's going to be a nice improvement. Here you can see Rickman 47 at the slipstream. And Kevin C has the slipstream as well. And they both can easily pass Ono. Let's see how much he loses. That's not half, half a second. That's a full second or may, maybe even one and a half seconds. You lose by that. And he's barely in the slipstream of the top two. And as we saw that fight, of course, between Tamil and Monik behind here. But let's keep an eye on Rickman 47 and Kevin C. And they're sliding all over the place coming out of the bus stop chicane. Here we had that weird move from Monik. Don't know why he did that. Then we have Jobinex and Jaden just behind each other. Then we have Debris behind that. Piccolini behind that. Harmsma behind that. And then we have Caristus and D. Divisa. Well, let's keep an eye on the battle for first place. <clears throat> Hi, Dion. I see your message. And I'm probably going to make it or... I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it tomorrow or Tony is gonna do it because he's gonna stream and do YouTube as well but we'll have to see and have to find out if he's gonna do that but let's keep an eye and let's focus on this race because we have Kevin C right in the slipstream of Rickman 47 and let's look a little bit further behind because that's not gonna be a pass that we have Marnie compared to Tamil and he's gonna bump draft him to get closer to help him all the time and then we have Jade at the Yopodex right behind each other bump drafting each other as well then we have Debris Piccolini and Hamsma right behind each other and Kevin C and Rickman 47 try to pull a gap over Arno and Kevin C is back back in style uh, already had pole position for this race and fights for the first places yet again as we know how he does oh we have Monik oh no sorry <laughs> Oh, Monik is still behind Tamil. Let's go a little bit further up front. Here we have Kevin C, and it looks and it appears as if as if he is faster compared to Rickman 47 into the corners. And this Toyota Group Four is a Group Four is a handful of a handful with the BOP on. <clears throat> it understeers, it oversteers, it wants to do everything you don't want it to do. So it's quite hard to control and drive on the edge. As we can see, Rickman 47 with the fastest lap. And oh, Kevin C runs a little bit wide over there. Luckily saves it. What oh, is losing a little bit a little bit of time to compare to Rickman 47. So let's look a little bit further behind. There we have Tamil and Monik fighting over fifth place. Who's going to have the better one over here? Are they going to go side by side into Blanchemont? No, they're not. Can Monik make that pass on Tamil into the bus stop chicane? Here they're going to come. <clears throat> who's gonna break the latest the top three is still into the same positions and Monik tries different lines to come to have a better exit out of the oh and uh, Tamil runs a little bit wide over there is this the opportunity for Monik to overtake him for fourth place they're side by side on the main straight until the serves happen and there's a half second penalty for Tamil oh yo 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 it drops back all the way to fifth there we have Jopodex in sixth and Jaded in seventh Debris in eighth Piccolini in ninth and Hansma in tenth all still in contention of course for fourth place then we have Coristus in eleventh and D defense quit it he's done with it now so we have Rickman 47 in the lead Kevin C and Monik of Arno still fighting for third place and here we have Tamil and Monik fighting over fourth place but Tamil with a half second penalty no dude we have to see what happened over there Okay, <clears throat> let's continue this battle. We're on lap five out of nine laps. That means four to go. No shit, Sherlock. Yes, number five, six, seven, and eight, and nine. Oh no, five laps to go. We're nearly halfway through. Halfway this lap, we're halfway through. Did I see somebody spin? Yes, I saw somebody spin on the minimap. Somebody went backwards. Who's that? Who's backwards? Who's standing still? 
It is deputies. No! no! What did you do? Let's see. Instant replay! Back, 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 Eddie, back. Still comfortably in eight. Pulling a gap over Piccolini and Hamsma. <clears throat> Here we're gonna go into the Lacombe chicane. Jaden losing touch with Yopadex. Yopadex is faster. Deberus runs a little bit wide into the first part of the Lacombe Chicanes. And is it going to be on the curb over here on the outside? Yes, it is. He runs a little bit wide. And here comes the spin. Here comes the crash. No! Ay, 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 ay. Let's continue. Okay. Let's go a little bit further up front. He drops all the way back to 11th, even behind Caristus, I believe. Yes, he does. Let's go all the way up front. And let's see that fight for first place. We still have Rick 47 in the lead uh, in front of Kevin C and Arno. And they glue together these three. They pull each other along with the slipstream. It's difficult to pull away because of the lack of power in this car. <clears throat> and the lack of speed puts all these cars closer together. And let's see a little bit further behind. We have Marnik with two guys behind him as well. We have Tamil and Yopadex, but Tamil is going to drop out of it. Why? Because of the half second penalty. Here comes the mill towards the penalty line in 3, 2, 1. There you have to serve it and Yopodex can pass him for fifth place. Nicely done, Yopodex. Now stay in touch with Monik so he can fight for fourth place. Tamil drops just out of the slipstream or he's still in the slipstream, but Jaden can catch the slipstream of, Yop of Tamil. And let's go a little bit further up front. Let's see how the fight between the number one, two and three is. Here we have them still glued together. We're going to go to the last three laps. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine. The last four laps, I must say. We're only 12 and a half minutes in. It's going to be 20 minutes, so we still have eight and a half minimum to go. <clears throat> it's going to be a little bit longer than that. Here comes Kevin C right in the slipstream of Rick 47. Can he pull out of it? He has the perfect slipstream right now. Can Arno benefit of that because of the double slipstream? Kevin C and Rick 47 puts up a defensive line and Kevin C has to go to the outside. Can he break later compared to Rick 47 into the Lacombe chicanes? Here they're going to go side by side and he is passed. Oh, a little bit of a push over there. Oh, and it's a difficult one and Rick 47 cannot make that pass. They can Arno tries to benefit of that and they, they come into the last part of the Lacombe chicane right behind each other and Arno tries to benefit of that fight right in front of him he's on the inside he tries to push kevin c along on was on the inside of rick 47 into brussels here they're gonna come side by side rick 47 and arno and rick 47 still has the inside for the no-name chicane of the no-name corner and arno is still in third place and loses a little bit of time over there <clears throat> because he got ran white <laughs> let's get a ball instant replay back Back, back, Eddie, back, 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 Eddie, back. Here we can see it from Arno's perspective. Kevin C pulls out of the slipstream of Rick 47 and has the outside line into the Lacombe chicanes, and there is going to be a little bit of a touch over there. They break just about the same point, and Rick 47 touches Kevin C on the right rear panel. And because of this fighting, Arno can close up the gap, has the better line over here out of the Lacombe chicane and is on the inside of Rick 47 Kevin C puts up a defensive line over here to hold back Arno Arno breaks perfectly on time to not run in the back of Kevin C and that's going to give Rick 47 the opportunity to stay on the outside that's going to be the inside into the no name corner and Arno runs a little bit wide because of that and loses a little bit of touch over there wow what a fight guys wow 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 <laughs> oh no and it's gonna give him a half a second penalty because of that no 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 but here we have Yopadex Marnik oh Yopadex is in fourth right now we'll have to see that again as well what happened over there instant replay let's get a walk with Yopadex back 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 Eddie back get back get back 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 Eddie back yep it's gonna be the slipstream out of the Eau Rouge and Tamil and Jaden really close behind each other as well but here we can see they're not going to work with each other to catch up with to third place and rightly so because it's a huge gap over there the open dives on the inside to Monik and Monik is going to leave enough space over there 
doesn't dive to the inside yes they're still side by side wow nice battle over here guys nicely fought and monik is going to slot in behind and that's how yopadex got fourth place nice move <laughs> yeah boy <clears throat> And here we have that fight still going on, and Yopadex has huge lag in this lobby. <laughs> Runs a little bit wide over there, so does Yopadex, uh, so does Monik. And because of all that fighting, Tamil could close up and is back in the fight for fourth place. <clears throat> and Jada tries to close up as well. Let's keep an eye on this battle, but let's look a little bit further up front first. Uh, Kevin C still in the lead, Rick 147 in uh, uh, second, and we have Arno in third, then we have Yopadex in fourth. Marnik now in fifth, Tamil in sixth, and Tamil right on the tail of Marnik, and Marnik runs a little bit wide over there, I had a huge slide over there, and Yopadex ran a little bit wide over there, but who had that half second penalty? Somebody had a half second penalty, oh yeah, it was Arno, that's, oh, and Arno runs wide over there as well, no! no! <clears throat> that was that penalty, and now the top two is loose from each other of his loose from Arno so we have Kevin C in the lead Rickman 47 in second then we have Arno on his own in third then we have Marnik back and forth how did he do that? we'll have to see that again INSTANT REPLAY back 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 at back 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 at back did Yopadex run a little bit wide over there? oh Marnik runs a little bit wide over there here we're gonna go maybe we're gonna see oh there is a huge slide over there and that's a huge hit from from Yopadex <laughs> Drops all the way back to what is that? What is that? Seventh place behind Jaden. No! Why? Why? Half a second penalty as well. Luckily, no damage for him. But that gives uh, Marnik fourth place again. And Tamil right behind him tries to overtake him into the bust up chicane. And we have Kevin C. Rick on 47 and Anna still in the same right, uh, same order. A little bit further up front. And then Tamil in fifth. Jaden right now in sixth. Then we have Yopadex for the half second penalty in seventh. Piccolini in eighth. Harmsma in ninth. And behind that, we have Caristas and Debris closely following each other, and that was it. <clears throat> but as we can see, Rick 47 tries it on the inside into O Rouge. Is that possible? No. He tries to fake it, and Kevin C slots just in front of him. As we can see on the card of Rick 47, he has no fear. Oh no, and it's gonna run Rick for Kevin C a little bit wide. So the offset was did work. So we have Rick 47 and Kevin C with a half second penalty. And Rick 47 is going to pass him on the camel straight and Kevin C is going to lose touch with him. We're already in the seventh lap in this race. And we only have eight and nine after this one. And let's see a little bit further behind. We have Marnik and Tamil still fighting over fourth place, but no changes over there. Let's go a little bit further up front. Kevin C tries to overtake Rick 47 back again, but Rick 47 is in the lead. Wow, 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 wow. I want to see that again. Instant replay! Let's get a boat with Kevin C. Back, back, back at the back. Shut up. No, no. Okay. Here we have it. Because of the fake moves of Rick 47, he tries to put up Kevin C, or for put off Kevin C, and he does. He runs a little bit wide over here, and that's at half second penalty. And with that slide out of the Eau Rouge, gives Rick 47 the momentum to pull up next to him and has the overspeed compared to Kevin C. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nicely done, Rickman 47. <laughs> yeah, boy. That was a little bit. You naughty, naughty. <laughs> nice move, nicely done. Soon we'll have to go for a toilet break. Yes, we do. But let's keep an eye on this fight. Let's look a little bit further behind. Oh, Monik runs a little bit wide over there. There we have Tamil. Can Tamil make the move into Brussels? Here they come side by side. Yes, he does. And Monik runs a little bit wide over there. Has a half second penalty as well. And Tamil made the move stick. Nicely done. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> Beautifully done. Tamil in fourth right now. Marnik in fifth with a half second penalty. And then we have Jaden in sixth. Then we have Yopadex in seventh with a half second penalty as well. Harmsma behind that. And behind that we have Piccolini and Caristus. I don't know why this camera is waiting all this time. Oh, and Debris all the way back into 11th right now with a half second penalty as well. But let's go all the way up front. <clears throat> Here they're going to come. Oh, let's get on board. There we have that half second penalty for Kevin C. And is that possible? to stay in touch let's get a boat with him and let's see how much he's gonna lose here we have it 
here comes that half second penalty and that's gonna drop you immediately out of the slipstream because that's not half a second you lose that's gonna be over a second you lose because right now that's a one two yeah it's a full second you're gonna lose so Kevin of Rick 147 in the lead Kevin C on his own if he can catch up We'll have to see. Then we have Arno in third on his own. Then we have Tamil in fourth, pulling a gap a little bit over Jadent because Monik get that half second penalty as well. Jadent in fifth, right behind Monik. And then we have Jopodex in seventh, serve that half second penalty as well. And then we have Harmsman in eighth, Christus in ninth right now, Piccolini in tenth, and Debris uh, served this half second penalty as well, all the way at the rear. Oh, and there's a huge slide over there from Kevin C coming out of a Lasso's hairpin. He tries everything to catch back up with Rick 47. Then we have Otto, and here is that 5 4 fourth place between Jade and Monik and Tamil. Let's keep an eye on this battle. These three are the closest together. And they're going to come through Eau Rouge. Jade right on the tail of Tamil. Is he going to overtake him? Oh, did he cut the chicane of cut Eau Rouge a little bit over there? Is that going to be a half second penalty? Yes, that's a half second penalty. You dumb wit. Here comes Jadent, he's gonna bump draft to Mill into Lasutep, if the hell Lasu, into the Lacombe Chicanes. Wait, we'll have to do this. Instant replay! Just have to try this. Let's go back, 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 eddy, back. I back, 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 eddy, back. Here he comes, Jadent just behind. Tamil, let's see how we got that penalty. There it was. <laughs> Bing! Okay, let's skip a little bit forward. That was that little bump draft from Jaden towards Tamil. And Jaden with half a second penalty. Sure, why not? <laughs> let's look a little bit further up front. Are they closing up to each other? Rickman 47 still in the lead and Kevin C. Let's get on board. Is he in the slipstream? Barely in the slipstream. And Arno is a little bit further behind. Then we have Tamil. Jaden with that half second penalty still in the slipstream of Tamil. But Tamil, as we can see, is faster compared to Jaden. And then we have Monik just behind Jaden. And Monik is faster than Jaden. A little bit further back. No real fights anymore. <clears throat> and Jaden is going to lose out anyway to, uh, of a compared to Monik because of the half second penalty. We're going to lap 8 out of 9, so after this lap, it's going to be the last lap. And let's see who wins it. Oh, there comes Marek into Peef Puff on the outside of Jaden. On the inside over there, a little bit of a push. And is he going to make it? He's going to leave enough space from Jaden for Jaden to... Oh, that was close. Holy shit, balls of fire. We have to see that again. Instant replay! <laughs> Take a look at that move. Uh, here we are in Puhan, and Monik has the better exit compared to Jadent. Could put down the throttle earlier, and Jadent puts up uh, puts up a little bit of a defensive line. Oh, and that's why Monik could nearly could pass him on the outside. He break way later compared to Jadent. Take a look at this. Here he comes. Jadent breaks already, and Monik starts to break over here. Has to pull out. <clears throat> is nearly on the grass, is on the grass with his right of left rear tire, is on the outside of Jaden right now, and suddenly it becomes a passing move, uh, an overtake move, a little bit of a touch over there, Jaden leaves enough space, Monik leaves enough space, whoa, Jaden pushes him a little bit, oh, yo, 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 that is on the edge, I remember, I remember correctly, Monik, that you said, you just about left me enough space on the curb, just the car with and let's see that again a little bit of a push over there from Jaden. okay he tries to take the normal racing line but a little bit naughty okay and here it is oh yeah, yeah. if that curb wasn't there there wasn't enough space for a full car it's perfectly <laughs> wow and monic probably thought <laughs> Ay, 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 ay. But Jaden still in front of Monik. Here they're going to come. But Jaden has that penalty. And Jaden lost time compared uh, towards Tamil because of that fighting with Monik. And as that half second penalty is in his, and is his sixth right now, can he still 
be in the slipstream no we cannot and as we see the field is pretty much spread out but i can see kevin c is closing up towards rickman 47 so let's get all the way up front again and let's see here we have kevin c is he back into the slipstream yes he is here we're gonna go towards the into the last lap of race number three of the season race number one of this night or oh, the wednesday night i must say and is it possible for kevin c to close up to rick 47 let's get on board with him let's go t cam and that's a little bit too far but he is in the slipstream oh no isn't <clears throat> Here we're gonna go oh is rick 47 gonna run a little bit wide over there is that gonna be one uh, half second penalty for him is it no it's not why yeah 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 i want to see that again we don't need the instant replay or do we no we don't <clears throat> take a look at this let's follow him this is the absolute absolute limit Mine good this is the absolute limit of how much you can cut Eau Rouge. Take a look at this. Pfft. He just corrects it perfectly to not get a penalty. Holy shit, balls of fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. <clears throat> and now we have Kevin C try to put up a huge fight yet again. He has the fastest first sector right now and he comes back into the slipstream of Rico 47. This is the fight for the lead. Everybody's still in the same order. Arno in third, Tamil in fourth, Monica fifth, Jade in the sixth, Joe Pedex in seventh, Arms in eighth. And Kevin C tries to close up and is right behind Rick 47 again. Is it possible for him to pass him on the last lap in one of the last corners? Probably the bus stop chicane into... Oh, and Arno in the background runs a little bit wide over there. Here they're going to go into Peef Puff. <coughs> or Fanjo, as I should call it. Morning. <laughs> Here they're going to come into Stavolo, the first corner. And Kevin C tries different lines over there to get a better exit. Here they are, right behind each other. Shall we go on board? Shall we? Or shall not we? Here they're going to come towards Blanchemont. This is the back straight. Let's call it that. Here they are. Into Blanchemont, right behind each other. Is it possible into the best of chicane? Oh, no penalty for nobody over there. Here they're going to come. Rick 47 with the defensive line. And Kevin C on the outside. And is he going to try it? He runs a little bit wide. And it's going to be Rick 47 who comes home in first. Yes, it is. Holy shit, balls of fire. What a fight at the end over there. Rick 47 coming home in first. Kevin C coming home in second. Dono coming home in third. Because of the fight quite close. And then still we have Tamil in fourth. Monik closed up, but couldn't close up. Just enough. Tamil in fourth. Uh, Monik in fifth. Then we have Jade at the sixth. Joe Black's in seventh. Then we have Harms Mark coming home in eighth. And Corista's closed up pretty well. Coming home in ninth. Then we have Piccolini in tenth. <clears throat> Probably made some mistakes as well. And then we have Debris coming home in eleventh. And the Fizz acquitted. So he ended up twelfth. Ho, ho, ho. What a race. Congratulations to the top three. Rick 147, Kevin C. And Arno. Wow, and that was just race number one. Let's quickly load up race number two. And let's have a short toilet break. So you can go and I can go. There we have it. <clears throat> Play the replay. Let's pause it quickly. Skip back a little. Put on the race details. No, not yet. Let's get aboard. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. Nope, oh, that, that. So, short toilet break. I right, fuck off. <laughs> Uno momento, por favor. Time out. You didn't have to fuck me up.
We had to go badly. Back again. Okay. <laughs> what a first race, guys. Absolutely brilliant. <clears throat> a lot of fighting, fair fighting, a little bit of mistakes here and there. <clears throat> but all good. All good. No real big biggies. So let's run you through the order, or well, the starting order for race number two. Let's display it all. Here we have Rickman 47 because he won the first race, of course. Starting first, then we have Kevin C in second, then we have Ono in third, all fighting for the championship. Tamil doing an amazing job over here by finishing fourth in the first race. Then we have Marnik, a little bit of a beep race for him, but yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. His race was disgusting. <laughs> no, no, no. It was good. It had fair fights, good fights. Difficult fight with Jaden. Jaden starting his sixth. And his fleece team, Walters. Delivery right now. That's meat team. Meat team. <laughs> Walters. And then we have Yopadex starting in seventh. Had a shitty race. His race was absolutely disgusting. Or we should say bad. <clears throat> um, bad in unfortunate bat in unfortunate then we have Hamsma starting in 8th then we have Christus in 9th uh, had a shitty race as well then we have, have Piccolini in 10th and Debris in 11th and De Vries is not going to start as one so yeah here we are already ready for number 2 <clears throat> are you ready? Okay. <clears throat> Here we're going to go for race number two. See, everything is running. Yep. All good. Okay, let's go. And we're gonna go in. Three, two, one, go! Everybody off the line, just the same as the 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 second of the first race. And who's gonna jump who? Here we are. And we're gonna go into the source happy and Rick with 47 still in the lead. Monic of our honor on the inside. Monic on the outside over there. All the way in fourth right now already. Nicely done. Perfectly moved over there. And anybody uh touching anybody no they're all single file all the way to Tamil and then we have Christus and Jaden fighting over sixth place Christus had a huge start he jumps from ninth to uh, seventh place already <clears throat> and it's just behind each other and they're gonna run too wide into Oruj oh and Armsmar runs a little bit wide over there compared to Piccolini and Armsmar on the grass over there and Deputy has a half second penalty let's go a little bit further in front because we have Christus and Yobanex next to each other and Yobanex dropped drop back even further and here we have Rick with 47 and uh, Kevin C fighting for the lead and Kevin C takes over the lead oh into the Lassus of the Lacombe chicanes here they are still side by side but Rick with 47 cannot pull off his specialty and then we have Arno still in third Marnik in fourth then we have Tamil at fifth so Marnik jump Tamil for fourth place and uh, Tamil is back in fifth and then we have Jaden and Jobanex fighting over seventh place well Caristus I must say then we have Jaden and Caristus fighting over a sixth of a sixth place yes then we have Jobanex in eighth drop back to a place compared to Caristus and then we have Debris with a half second penalty oh and here we have Caristus and Jaden fighting over sixth place going next to each other into the into Puhan and Caristus. Oh, nearly runs a little bit wide over there. Has a huge big bucket, big wobble over there. And that's going to give you the opportunity to close up yet again as well. <clears throat> Let's see a little bit further up front. Wow, what a shitty camera perspective. Sorry about that. And then we have Ono losing a little bit of touch to the one, uh, number one and number two. And Monica still in the slipstream out of Ono. And there we have Jaden and Caristus fighting all over the place. Here comes Caristus. Tries it on the inside of Stefano. Is that possible? No, it's not. And there we have Jopadex and Debris, I believe. Oh, it's Piccolini fighting over. 
Eighth place, and Debris is going to serve that penalty immediately and is going to drop back behind uh, Harusma. Let's go a little bit further up front and let's see that pass for first place because Rick 147 is probably going to try it yet again. But first, let's see that race start again. Instant replay! Back, 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 back. Let's see it from the perspective of Kevin C. Here we are. In three, two, one. Everybody starts just about the same. Only a little bit of lag could slow you down here. Now that it's not going to be a fight for first place into this one. Honor was on the inside. Marduk dives on the outside of Tamil. There it is. And Jaden tries it on the inside of Tamil. Let's go a little bit further back. And let's see that fight over here. And here we can see that we have Kuristas and Yopodex. And Kuristas passes Yopodex over there into the first corner. And <clears throat> Jaden tried it on uh, Tamil in front of him. And here they are. Debris runs a little bit wide. There is a half second penalty. There's a little bit of a push towards Harmsma. And that's why Harmsma ran wide. And Piccolini tries to cut him off a little bit. And let's see a little bit further up front. Because right now we have that battle for first place. Oh no. Of, uh, uh, let's see from the perspective of Arno and Kevin C on the outside over here. Rick 47 cannot break as late. Kevin C break extremely late over there, and Rick 47 cannot perform his specialty by diving up the inside yet again into the second part of the Lakum chicane. And here they are, three cars just behind each other, and Kevin C is still in the lead. And Arno has Marnik on the outside over there. Couldn't make that pass stick, but let's follow Jade and the Corissus right now. Uh, let's keep an eye on the battle a little bit further up front. Yes, let's keep an eye on the battle for the lead. There we are in the background. See Caristas and Jaden fighting next to each other. Here they are. Jaden on the inside of Puhan. And a little bit of a wiggy bugger wiggy wobble over there from Caristas. And Jopadex could close up. But let's see a little bit further up front. Rick 47 putting ultimate pressure onto Kevin C. But he can hold it together. And Honor runs a little bit wide over there. And that's why he lost a little bit of ground. As we could see, there we have Arno Farmanic just behind Arno, both with the same livery, quite confusing. <coughs> As if they are teammates. Uh huh. <laughs> Tamil right in the slipstream, and Jaden, because of the fighting with Goristas, lost touch to Tamil, and the top five is gone. Now let's see, can Goristas pass Jaden? into Blanchemont he cannot can he pass him into the bus stop she came but let's look a little bit further up front first here we have that five break with 47 and Kevin C and break with 47 on the outside into the bus stop she came cannot make it does he try the old switcheroo yes he does no he does not yes he does but cannot perform the old switcheroo Arno still in third uh, Marnik still in fourth and there we have uh, a little bit of Tamil still a fifth, Jaden still a sixth and here comes Coristas on the inside of Lasso's happen oh they're fighting over third place as well here comes here comes Monik. Monik tries it on the inside and outside and uh, does that weird outside line again. And Caristas tries to pass Jaden and has passed Jaden for sixth place. Let's see that move from Monik yet again. Instant replay! Let's get a ball. Back, 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 any back. Here we have that fight for fourth place. And behind there, we have the fight for sixth place as well. But first, let's see this one. Rick, uh, Kevin C blocks off Rick 47 towards the Suez hairpin. Marnik tries the outside over here, does the old switcheroo. Rick 47 tries exactly the same, but cannot make that move stick. And Marnik drives all the way to the outside of the track. I don't know. I do not know why. Oh, was a slip through of Rick 47 and Kevin C in front. And let's keep an eye on this battle. But first of all, let's see that move from Caristas on Jaden. Let's go back, 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 any back. It's got a boat with Caristas. Here comes the move into the Lasso's happen. He breaks a little bit late. Jaden leaves the space over there. And does he leave the space on the outside? He just about does. And has a good exit as well. Here they're going to come and take a look at that fight behind as well. Caristas and Jaden still next to each other. Here they're going to come towards Old Rouge. And Jaden slots in behind Caristas. Nice fight. Here we have Yopadex just behind them as well. And they're going to go three wide. And let's see, is there going to be any change for the lead or a change for third place? I believe Arno was still in third. And Marnik is still in fourth. There is not going to be any change. Oh, and there is a defensive line there from Kevin C. And everybody's closing up. Let's take a look at that. We'll have to go back. Instant replay! <clears throat> Here we are, of course, coming out of the Lasso's hairpin. 
Rick 147 just behind Kevin C and uh, Marnik just behind Arno. The fight for first and second and the fight for third and fourth. Here comes Rick 147, tries to pull out of the slipstream. Yes, Kevin C gonna put up a defensive line. He does, he does not. Yes, he does immediately on the, on the camel straight. Rick 147 is next to him and Marnik tries to pull out of the slips even though he's got a bump draft Arno and Rick 47 on the outside of Kevin C but Kevin C breaks later and Rick 47 cannot perform the old switcheroo and they're right behind each other the one number one two three and four holy shit balls of fire what a fight guys what a fight good I like it <laughs> here comes Arno on the inside of Rick 47 or did he put up a defensive line of Marnik yes he does but Marnik cannot pass him on the outside into Brussels no he cannot oh and they're fighting all over the place and it gets, it's gonna give Tamil the opportunity to cl uh, close up again here we have that fight and there is a huge fight between Carissus and Jaden as well we'll have to see that in a replay but first of all let's see how this pans out Rick 47 runs a little bit wide into Poo and that's going to give Arno the opportunity into Beef Buff to pass him yes sir. yes no yes no yes no here he comes is he going to dive on the inside no he does not oh he fakes it is he going to put off Rick 47 no he does not Rick 47 isn't put off that easily Here we have Monik right behind Arno and Tamil in the slipstream as well. He can hold up. Oh, Chris has pulled out of the gap over, over Jada. Then we have Yopadex and Piccolini. Okay, nothing on the end over here. Yeah, we have Yopadex way faster compared to Jada. Let's go a little bit further up front because we have to see that fight for first place between the top five right now. What a fight so far. Amazing stuff, guys. <laughs> yeah, boy. Here comes Rick 47 into the bus of chicane on the inside of Kevin C. He didn't expect it, but couldn't break a slate to put it up the inside. No, we cannot. Whoa, is that going to be a penalty for Monik? He cut the chicane a little bit too far. Maybe, maybe not. <clears throat> no, luckily not. Well, let's look a little bit further behind. There we have Tamil, there we have Caristas, there we have Jaden, there we have Yopadex and Eve, uh, Piccolini and Hamsma fighting over ninth place. Here comes Hamsma on the outside into Luz. Who's happy? Who's going to break the latest? Is it going to be Piccolini? Hamsma, Hamsma still on the outside of Piccolini. And Piccolini still in front. Let's go a little bit further up front. Let's see that battle. Here we have Rick 147 tries to pull out of the slipstream and tries to perform what he did uh, in the GT3 cars as well when we drive with the Ferrari 458 over here break out of the slipstream and then get the maximum slipstream on the onto the camel straight here he comes all in a line single line right now but here comes Rick 47 yet again Kevin C is on the inside Rick 47 on the outside into the lagoon chicanes who's gonna break the latest it's gonna be Kevin C no it's gonna be Rick 47 he's on the outside but runs a little bit wide over there oh and a huge slide holy shit balls of fire and he's gonna lose second place to Arno is he gonna lose third place to Monik as well yes no yes no oh it's gonna be a difficult one to hold Monica's is going to be the inside for Brussels. No, he's not. Oh, and Arno tries immediately on Kevin C for the lead. Here he comes. Arno was in the lead. Holy shit, balls of fire. It's kicking off all over the place. Kevin C. And then we have Rico 47 and Monica still fighting over third place as well. Rico 47 is still in third. Why, yo, 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 yo. What a fight, guys. We'll have to see that again. Instant replay. Oh, yo, 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 yo. What happened? Woo. It all kicked off. Ah. This moment, when Rick 147 tried, uh, tried, well, did um, what he did with the Group 3 cars of last season, the Ferrari 458, by pulling out of the slipstream, pulling back into the slipstream, have the absolute perfect distance to close up after Orouge, because Orouge is going to be single file, to close up to Kevin C onto the Camel Straight. Here we're going to see, he has the perfect slipstream and just about after half of the camel straight he's next to it and into the braking zone breaks a little bit later Kevin C is still on the inside but Rick 47 holds it on the outside runs a little bit wide over there has a huge slide holds it together but it's going to give Arno the opportunity to dive on the inside Monik as well but has enough grip over here to throttle out and Monik leaves the space over there slots him behind as we can see runs a little bit wide over here yet again it's going to give Monik the opportunity to dive on the inside into Brussels and that gave Arno the opportunity 
we didn't pay, the te pay attention to the uh, pass for the lead. Sorry about that. So there's going to be an inter replay. And there was a shitty exit from Kevin C. That gave Arnold the opportunity to dive on the inside of Kevin C. And Kevin C just about leaves enough space. There was a little bit of a touch over there. And Arnold has the better exit compared to Kevin C. And uh, Monik tries it on the outside, but it's impossible. Going side by side into the no-name corner. And that's how it unfolded. Holy shit, balls of fucking fire. And that gave Tamil the opportunity to close up yet again. We have Carissus in 6, Jaden uh, in 7th. Then we have Jopodex in 8th, Piccolini in 9th. Then we have Debris in 10th, Harnus Maia in 11th. And that's it. Well, let's keep an eye on that fight for first place. It's still five cars fighting over, fighting over first place. There comes Kevin C into the slipstream of Otto. Oh, and there's a half second penalty for Rick with 47. No! <clears throat> he probably has to serve that next lap. Yep, he's going to serve it next lap because there was the penalty line. He passed it already. So there is a possibility for him to at least gain two positions and lose the minimum compared to these other guys. If he's going to be third and or fourth crossing that line, that's going to be even more difficult to hold, hold that fourth or fifth place. At least that third place. Otto still in the lead. Kevin C just behind. Pushing him all over the place. Here he is going to come to the outside. Holy shit, balls of fire. How do you do that? That was a dairy move. That was a risky move. Unbelievable. Holy shit, balls of fucking fire yet again. But as we can see, Brickman 47 tries to push on Otto and dies on the inside of Otto until the Zeus happen and the fighting all over the place. Jesus fucking Christ. How do you guys keep it on track and not crashing? Instant replay! I want to see that again. Back, 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 Eddie, back. I want to see that from the perspective of Kevin C. Again. Take a look at this move into the bust of chicane. I've never seen this one. Try to fake it. Leave the... Sp of Arno runs a little bit wide over here. And now he's going to take the shorter line. Tries the old switcheroo, but it's not going to be the switcheroo. It's going to be side by side out of this corner. And Arno has to leave the space over there. And that's how Kevin C got back into the lead. But Rick 47, because of the better exit out of the bus stop chicane, could benefit of that as well. Dies on the inside over here. Into the Sue's happen. Arno has to leave the space again. All of us have to leave the space. And Rico 47 has to do that right now. And Otto can jump back into second because uh, Rico 47 had, had a huge wiggle 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 over there. But that's going to give Monik and Tamil the opportunity to close up again. And here they're going to go. Four, five in a row, right behind each other, through Eau Rouge. Here comes Rico 47 with different lines yet again. Are they going to push each other along? No, they're not. They're going to go side by side onto the camel straight. Here comes Rico 47, but. Arno is going to push Kevin C forward, so Rick 47 cannot pass Arno. And here comes Monik, tries it on the inside. Rick 47 tries it on the inside into the Lacombe chicanes. No, they cannot pass, but here comes Tamil on Monik and makes the move stick. Wow, what a move. <laughs> yeah, boy. Holy shit, balls of fucking fire. We keep saying it. Yes, we have to. This fight is amazing, but Rick 47 still with that half second penalty. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's going to be costly. If you cannot pass these two cars uh, before the. Penalty line that's going to be absolutely costly. You're going to drop back behind Tamil Monik. And then we have Karistas closing up because of all that fighting. Then we have Jaden in seventh closing up. Jobelex closing up to Jaden. Then we have that fight for ninth place between Debris, uh, Piccolini, and Hamsma. But let's go all the way up front again to that fight for first place. Oh, no, no, runs a little bit wide out of Puhan number two. Is that a possibility for Rick 47 to pass him? Would be wise because you have a half second penalty into Peef Puff over here. All good, all good so far. Uh, he cannot pass him into Stavolo and after Stavolo number two. It's going to be a half second penalty for Rick 47. Here he comes. This is going to be costly. Let's get on board with him. And let's see how far he's going to drop back. Here comes Stamil. At least Stamil is going to pass him. And Monik had a bit of a shitty fourth lap. Because... Rick 47 is uh, only going to get passed by Tamil and not Monik. And Karistus is already in the slipstream as well. We have a group of two up front. And we have a group of two behind and a group of two behind that. And that's your whole top six. And then we have Jopodex right in front of Jaden right now. Where and when did he pass him? 
we'll have to see that again. Instant replay! Let's get a boat with open decks. And let's go back, 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 and back. Where did he pass him? Is there going to be a mistake of cheating? Is he going to run a little bit wide over there? Oh yes, he has a huge slide over there. A huge biggie wagga biggie bubble over there. And Jaden lets Yopadex go. Yopadex is 7th and Jaden is in 8th right now. Okay, let's skip a little bit forward. Forward. And let's go all the way up front yet again. There we saw that penalty, of course, of Rickman 47. There we had that pass from Tamil for 3rd place. And is Rickman 47 capable of overtaking Tamil again? Let's continue. We're nearly halfway through. <coughs> We have everything over here. No passes over here. And Rick 47 with a huge slide out of the bus up chicane. Tries everything to gain those places back again. Of course, he won the first race. He won a one this one as well. He wants to win. He wants to wanna one. He wants to wanna one one. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Why not? Talk rubbish. Rubbish. He wants to win this one as well. That's the correct sentence. And as you can see, Rick 47 nearly pushes Tamil through Eau Rouge. And here he's going to come probably to the outside. Or where is Tamil going to choose? Oh, he puts up his alarm lights by saying thank you for the bump draft. And Rick 47 tries to push along Tamil to make sure they catch up to the number one and number two in this race. And Tamil runs a little bit deep and a little bit wide into the Lacombe chicanes but holds it together. And still is on the tail of Arno. Wow, nicely done. Perfectly fought over there. No mistake so far. And we have Arno of Kevin C still in the lead but cannot pull away from Arno. And Tamil and Rick 47 are closing up and Monarch is closing up again and closing up as well. What a fight for the lead, guys. Very entertaining. Very, 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 very. <laughs> I like, I like, I like. I very like it. I like it much. And Kevin C tries to pull uh, a little bit of a gap, but it's impossible. Because the slipstream is too strong and too big over here. Too many streets on Spa Franco. Spa Franco Champ. And we can see Rick 47 is faster than Tamil, but Tamil can hold up pretty nice and pretty good with the top two. And Carissus cannot, cannot really follow, and Marni cannot really follow as well. And just out of slipstream range. Let's go a little bit further up front. Here we have to fight for fourth place. Let's see if there are any shenanigans behind as well, but first of all we have Arno and Kevin C towards the bust up chicane and here comes Rickon 47 on Tamil on the inside is that gonna be a clean move yes it is Tamil lets it happen lets it go he knows better and thinks better of it <clears throat> whoa Rickon 47 with a wiggy 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 wobble over there out of the bust up chicane that's for you deputies are you watching Kenny <laughs> You'll have to. You'll have to. <laughs> you open X, by the way. Yeah, we're gonna go yet again towards Camel Strait. And I see there is a huge fight behind as well. But first of all, let's see this. Oh no. Is he gonna take over the lead from Kevin C? Kevin C with a defensive line yet again on Camel Strait. Can Ono pull out of the slipstream in towards. Lacombe, no he cannot. He thinks better of it and Rickman 47 is immediately in the slipstream already. Putting the pressure on Arno yet again. And Tamil has to leave a little bit of a gap over there. Marnik in fifth. Christus is just out of slipstream ra range, so we cannot benefit of that. Then we have Jopadex, Jaden, Debris really close behind each other as well. And then we have Piccoli and Hansman really close behind each other as well. But let's keep an eye on the battle for first place. This is exciting. Very exciting. Very, very, very. 13 and a half minutes in. Only six and a half to go. A little bit more than that. Oh, and a huge slide from Kevin Z over there. Is that going to give Arno the opportunity to pass him into Beef Puff? No. Not this time. But then nose to tail. Into Beef, into Puff. <laughs> 
and to far and to geo and we're gonna go into stavolo and right now it's full throttle all the way to the bus stop chicane with some kinks in between who's gonna pass who we don't know can Carissa's close up to the guys to the guys up front because right now we only have the top four into the slipstream Monik just a little bit behind and Carissa's on his own as well behind here they come the top three oh no with a little bit of a defensive line over there towards Rick 47 coming out of the bus stop over here who has the best exit everybody just about the same <laughs> Oi. You guys are very gewaagd to each other. Yes. <laughs> Adelosu is happy. Rickman 47 a little bit wide over there. No harm done. Didn't lose any time over there. Into a rouge. Is this going to be the perfect slipstream yet again for Rickman 47? Let's get on board. Well, let's show it. Let's go TCAM. Let's look back as well. Tamil with a huge slipstream. And is Arno going to make that move? Let's get to the TV cam. Here we are. Arno is in the lead right now. Kevin C is in second. But Kevin C is still on the inside for the Lacoum chicane. Arno is going to leave the space over there. Is that an opportunity for Rick 147 to pass him with his specialty into the second part of the Lacoum chicane? No, it's not. It's still the same order. But they're fighting all over the place. And Tamil is right on the ass of Rick 147. Here comes Rick 147 on the outside into Brussels. Can he make that move stick? No, he cannot. Can Tamil profit of that on the inside of Rickman 47? No, he cannot. Whoa, close fighting, guys. Really close fighting. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> Any other big fights behind? Nope. Whoa, Rickman 47 tries it on the outside of Puhorn. Tries different lines over there. Puts Arno on under immense pressure. But cannot make the move stick. It's difficult to pressure Arno. It's really difficult to pressure him. As it is with Kevin C. As it is with Rick 147. Those guys have no feelings. <laughs> They're emotionless. <laughs> Rick 147, right to the tail of Arno, into Blanchemont. Can he make that move? Into the bus stop chicane. We'll have to see. Here he comes. Is he going to dive to the inside? No. Arno puts up a defensive line. And Rick 147 looks for the cutback. Oh, a little bit of a push over there from Tamil. And a huge slide from Rick 147. He couldn't perform the old switcheroo. Maybe he should try the new switcheroo. Don't know how that looks, but. We're in lap 8, only this lap and the next lap. Marnik still a 5th, just out of slipstream race. Caristas still a 6th, just out of slipstream race. Jopodex still a 7th, then we have Jade at an 8th, and Debris really close behind in ninth. And then we have Piccolini and Hamsma fighting over 10th place, still just behind each other. And here is that fight for 1st place, Kevin T pulls out of tries to break the slipstream by weaving over there and there is a uh, Rick 47 on the outside of Arno and he tries it over there and he pushes on a white no and that's gonna give Tamil the opportunity to pass them both oh shit I could not see anything of that Rick 47 right now in second place Arno in third and Tamil tries to overtake Arno into Brussels for third place but he cannot make that move and Monica's right on the tail right now as well because they're fighting all over the place we'll have to see this again instant replay Whoa! Back, back, back at the back. Let's see it from the perspective of Tamil. I like this one, yeah. As we can see, Kevin C, Arno and Rick 47 all have the slipstream, of course. Or at least Arno and Rick 47. Kevin C, there, tries to break the slipstream. They're all closing up to each other. And Rick 47 has the best slipstream because he has a double slipstream over there. On the outside of Arno, dives to the outside, cannot hold it immediately to get a bumps. Arno a little bit wide over there, and Arno runs a little bit wide over there. No! 
That gives Tamil the opportunity to dive on the inside of Arno and dives on the outside of Rickwood 47, but Rickwood 47 still has Arno on the inside over here, so he cannot take the perfect line over there, but has the better exit, and Arno can repass Tamil into the last part of the Lacombe Chicanes is on the inside for Brussels over here, and that's how we could, could come back to third place, place at least. But Rickwood 47 is second right now, and is going to hunt down Kevin C yet again. But there is a bit of a gap over there from Kevin C because of all the fighting behind. So we have Rico 47 in second, Arno in third, Tamil in fourth, and Monica fifth closed up right now and is immediately in the slipstream and can fight for second place as well, maybe even for the lead. Here comes Marnik on the inside of Tamil. No, he cannot make that move stick. Into Pif Puff, a little bit of a slide in towards or a trail break from Arno into the Pif Puff. Rick 47 runs a little bit wide over there, and that's going to be a penalty, I believe. Is that going to be a penalty for him? In three, two, one, we must know. No! Luckily for him. Oh, yo, yo, that was absolutely on the edge yet again. There we have Otto, still in third. Rick 45, uh, Tamil in fourth. Monica in fifth. Carissa in sixth. Could close up as well. Then we have Jopodex in seventh. Then we have Jaden with a half second penalty in eighth. And Debris is going to pass him for eighth place. Yes, he does. Banner. And we have Piccolini and Hausman still close behind each other, but that's not going to be a fight. So let's see that 5 4. Fourth place between Monik and Tamil. And is it possible to do the old switcheroo for Monik? Tamil places his car at exactly at the right spots. And this is going to give Carissus the opportunity to close up as well. This is going to be the last lap. Oh, this is going to be exciting. Is it possible for Rickman 47 to close up to Kevin C? Is it possible for Arnold to pass at least Rickman 47 for second place? And is it possible for Monik to overhaul Tamil for fourth place? And Christus is in the slipstream as well. So he's going to he's gonna fight for maybe first place as well. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how this pans out. First of all, let's go a little bit further up front. Here we have Arnold versus Rickman 47. They're going to fight. And it's going to be beneficial for Kevin C in the lead. Here it comes, Arno on the outside into the Lacombe Chicanes. Is there going to be a fight behind as well? No, that is not. Here comes Arno on the outside of Rickwood 47. Is he going to make the move stick? Yes, he can make the move stick. And Rickwood 47 tries the old switcheroo over there into the third part of the Lacombe Chicane. Is he going to dive on the inside into Brussels? Yes, he is. And we have Marnik. No, Marnik still behind Tamil. And here comes Rickwood 47 back on Arno and pushes him a little bit wide over there. Oh, yo, yo, that's a little bit naughty. Naughty, naughty. Oh, and here comes uh, Rick with footy of uh, Monik on the outside of Tamil. And Tamil of Monik is going to run a little bit wide. And is Tamil going to pass, a uh, repass Monik for fourth place yet again? And here comes Caristas together with Tamil. And Tamil is on the inside of Monik. And Monik has to yield. No, he cannot. He's still on the outside over there. Oh, and he runs a little bit wide over there. Oh, yo, yo, yo. And he's going to lose places to Tamil and to Caristas. And here comes Monik. Oh, and he has to yield to the places, and here is the fight for second place. Oh, this is too much. We'll have to see this again. Instant replay! First of all, that fight between Rickman 47. It's continuing, continuing. For second place, and Kevin C can run away with this one. If he doesn't make any mistakes, he's going to run, run away with this. But first, back, back, baggity, baggity, back. Here we have that fight for second place. Between Arno and Rickman 47. That fight behind as well, but it's not going to be a fight until uh, after the Lacombe Chicanes. Here we can see we have Arno passing him on the straight. Rick 47 breaks just a little bit later, but Arno lets it run into the corner. Rick 47 has to slot in behind, but tries the old switcheroo over here. Tries to have the better exit and has the better exit out of the Lacombe Chicanes. Is on the inside for Brussels over here. Is he going to break later? Just about a little bit later, but Arno is still on the outside. A little bit of a push over there from Rickman 47, and that runs Arno a little bit wide over there. And here we can see that fight behind between Monik and Tamil as well. But we'll have to focus on that a little bit later. First, this fight, because Arno had a better exit out of the no-name chicane, of no-name corner. I, I always want to say chicane, but it's not the chicane. And here we have Rickman 47 still in front of... Um, still in front of... Still in front of Arno. Here they're going to come into the fan Josie Kane and Arnold was on the inside, dives on the inside and Brickman 47 just leaves, enough just leaves enough space but it's going to be the inside over here as well and Arnold tries the old switcheroo into Stavolo, here they're going to come side by side and as you can see Arnold tries yet again to cut back over there, here they're going to come, let's get on board with Arnold and who has the better exit out of the last Stavolo corner. 
and that's going to be Rick with 47 in second place, Otto in third, and they're going to go side by side towards Blanchemont, who's going to be the bravest? That's going to be the outside for this first kink. Here they're going to go side by side into Blanchemont. He's going to auto perform yet again. The old switcheroo. Or he's going to run a little bit wide. No, he's not going to run wide. Here they're going to come. And behind that, they're fighting for fourth place as well. And Rick 47 breaks later than Arno does. And Carissa strikes it on the inside of Tamil. Just behind, but we'll have to see that fight. First of all, Kevin C is going to come home first. Yet again, nicely done move. Of nicely got done, dude. Rick 47 in second and Arno in third. But... We'll have to see that fight between Tamil, Marnik, and Koristas. Instant replay! Back, 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 any back, 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 any back. All starts over here. Because we have. We're going to see it from Koristas' perspective. We have Marnik trying the old switcher over here. Has the better exit. And we can see that fight up front, but we've covered that already. Dives on the inside of Brussels of Tamil. Has a little bit of a push over there. And open up the gap himself. You naughty, naughty. <laughs> Monic. That's a little bit naughty, 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 naughty. We'll have to see that again. No, Tamil runs wide himself. Okay, I haven't said anything. Sorry about that, Monic. But he's on the outside of the no name corner, and Tamil is gonna push him a little bit wide over there and is going to give him the opportunity to cut back and they're going to go side by side into Pujon let's go a little bit further back because right now we have Kuristas pushing Tamil further up front Kuristas thinks better of it they're side by side and Monik is going to run right over here no! and he's going to come back behind Kuristas as we can see right now and here we have that fight still going on into Fangio or Piff Puff as Monik who we are following right now calls it himself we've seen that fight a little bit further up front Kevin C pulls all the way up front and as we can see right now is Chris is going to run a little bit wide he goes a little bit wide into the first Stavolo is he going to run right in the second part of Stavolo or is it going to be into the bust of Chicane where Marnik is going to pass him yet again then we can see Rico 47 and Arnold just side by side onto the back straight towards Blanchemont Chris tries to pull out of the slipstream to have a better slipstream towards the bus stop she came here they're gonna go oh Marnik runs a little bit wide over there is there gonna be a half second penalty I don't know maybe maybe not Chris just tries it on the inside over there towards the mill runs him a little bit wide oh that's a little bit naughty and Marnik performs the perfect old switcheroo yes boy so that puts Tamil in fourth place and Monica in fifth place, Curtis is in sixth place and here comes Jopodex home in seventh place and then we have Deputy's coming home in eighth place and then we have Jaden spinning it out in ninth place and then we have Piccolini coming home in tenth and Harms Matt tries it on the exit over there coming home in eleventh. Woo! What are two races again guys? It was DISGUSTING! <laughs> ay ay ay. No, what are two races again? Wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. Loved it. Loved it. Beautifully done. Okay. But right now, of course, we have to show you the championship standings of after race number three and number four. So give me a second to pull that up. Mm hmm. There we have it, and now we're going to show you, as we can see right now, we're going to go to the stats, we have Arno still on the lead, as we can see over here, because he scored 15 and 15, and after that, a double second, no, that's a double third place, and has 56 points right now, perfectly driven, nicely done Arno, and with the two first places of Oh, sorry, no, it's going to be a second place and a first place uh, in the third and the fourth race for Kevin C. He has 54 points right now, just two points behind um, Arno. And then we have Rick 147, GG GTA called in the stats over here. Has a second place, a first place over here and a second place with the fastest lap over here. So if you see something marked fat, it's going to be the fastest lap. Do not look at a double, because as I said, we have um, A1 and A2 fused together right now as one group A. 
So the championship standings are going to be a little bit different because they scored points in the first and the second race on their own terms. So suddenly there are a lot of more guys, of, uh, yeah, a lot of extra guys into Group A. But as we can see, 51 points for our current world for our reigning champion, Brooklyn 47. Then we have Barnick in fourth place with 47 points, a little bit behind. Uh, it's going to be at least four points behind. Yeah, three points. Uh, Rick Brown 47 is three points behind. Kevin C and Kevin C is only two points behind. Oh, no. Then we have Tamil with two really solid good races on uh, Spa. And fifth right now with 41 points. Then we have Debris because he was in A2. Scored really good in the first two races. Didn't score that well in the second two races when A1 and A2 were combined. But it's in total uh, 38 and 6 right now. Then we have Homsma scoring really good in the first two races in A2. And it's right now with the combined a little bit worse, uh, but still has 36 points. Then we have Yopodex with reasonable first race and reasonable, yeah, third and fourth race with 34 points in eight right now. Then we have Piccolini with a good result in the first two races, but not as good in the second two races because he's in A1 or A1 and A2 are combined right now, but has 32 points. It's really close together between sixth until... Yeah, I must see. 12th place. It's 38 points, 36 points, 34 points, 32 points, 31 points. Um, <clears throat> 31 for Ruben because he had 16 and 15 in the first two races in A2. And didn't compete this time in race number 3 and number 4 in the combined A2 and 1. And has still 29 points. Then we have Raymac at 1 with 14 and 15 points in the first two races. Didn't compete in this one. Still with 29 points. And then we have Jaden with the 9, a 3, and a 10, and a 7. Absolutely shitty. The 10 and the 9 are reasonable, but the others are shitty. Uh, with 29 points in 12th. And as we can see, we have Aggie in 13th, Hugo in 14th. Because he didn't compete in this one, else he would way, would be way higher. Uh, with 22 points. Then we have Carissus uh, with 20 points. Scored reasonably good in the third race. Really good in the fourth race. With 20 points, then we have Quinn didn't compete in this one. Timothy didn't compete in this one. Dita Fizzer only competed in the third race, didn't compete in the fourth race. And then we have Shouty who didn't compete in the second and the third race. I'm uh, 19. And then we have Concrete Tile still uh, at the bottom right now with 11 points because he didn't compete as well. Okay, good conclusion. What are two races? What an exciting championship, especially up front. Amazing fights, you guys. Fairly fought. Cap off. And yeah, thanks for watching. Oh, wait, that's the height that one. <laughs> thanks for watching. Have a good one. Thank you, Debris.